today's video, this exercise make you smarter. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravello from Pro Physique, and it is Wednesday evening, and we're getting this video done because on Thursday, Chad and I are traveling, and we're going to do more vlogging style stuff. This weekend, we're headed to Junior Nationals in Chicago with Lauren Conlon, so we're going to put out a lot of great footage, but this weekend's footage is mostly going to be centered around the competitors, the athletes themselves, trying to document the process, what it looks like as a coach, as a competitor, as, a, as an attendee of these fantastic national shows and uh, probably get some footage of Chicago too because I have not really had a chance to be a tourist in Chicago. So this weekend will be some fun and uh, Lauren and I are always good for a few laughs. We, uh, we get along great on these trips and so it'll be a nice weekend. All right guys, so let's get to the topic at hand. And for today's video, I wanna give you a little background on why I'm talking about kind of the brain and training. So I was studying for my exam the other day on strength and conditioning and I came across a section of the book that actually mentioned that there was some research suggesting that resistance training actually improved cognitive function and cognitive performance. And that kind of got my creative juices flowing and thinking about kind of my history with training and the brain and how it has impacted me both acutely and possibly more so I'll understand in the future as I get older because a lot of the research suggests that there are long-term benefits, but even acute benefits are things that I have noticed. So what I wanted to discuss was the idea that training, resistance training, actually makes us smarter. And I want to give you my thoughts. And first I want to give you some anecdotal things that I find myself doing to benefit myself. You see, a lot of my day can be spent at a desk typing and even though I go to the gym for you know up to two hours a day, I can often be stuck at my computer working, answering emails, answering phone calls, client calls, business calls, whatever it may be. Oh, it's time to edit a video, let's edit the video. I kinda can get stuck in a rut where I'm at my desk for hours and hours and I kinda need a break. And what I've learned to do is every so often I'll get up and don't laugh but I'll do like 50 or 60 jumping jacks in a row and then I'll just do some like push-ups or some kind of sprint in place. And what I find is that my heart rate gets really elevated. You know, I get a little shortness of breath. I go get a drink. I come back. I sit back down and boom, I'm off again. And so I find for me personally, the benefit of getting my heart rate up and doing something greatly improves my ability to be creative, get work, work done, you know, focus on the task at hand. And so I started doing a little research. I started doing a little digging on the old Google machine, right? I started typing in brain and exercise and man, there is a lot of research on this topic specifically. Now, a lot of the research that I found was based around the idea that as we get older, our brain tends to degenerate, right? We have a little bit less neuroelectric energy, but the people that trained throughout their lives as few as one time a week compared to the people that trained no times per week, they had a lot of improved performance after the age of 50 and into their later years. And you ever know an old person that's kind of sharp? Maybe someone that comes to the gym? There's a couple people in my gym that come to mind. Man, we have some conversations and I, I find out they're like 70 or 80 years old and there's a correlation there. Like, it's not cool to think about being 70 or 80 years old for a 40 year old guy. Heck, if you're watching this in your 20, you're probably thinking, who cares about that? But as, as people that love fitness in that we are, it's nice to know that there are some cognitive benefits or some long-term benefits that I think we can all agree will be nice to think about when we still have a brain to use at that time, right? I also noticed years ago when I would take a break in the middle of the day and go to the gym because my schedule didn't really allow me to have like big blocks of time, I would come back to work post lunch having just gotten a workout and a quick shake and instead of taking an hour lunch break with everybody at the restaurant and you know eating a big lunch and coming back to work and feeling sluggish, I would get 
a, a really good second win going through the rest of the day, and I would just cruise through my afternoon because I kind of got that workout in. I got a lot of stuff done right after that. In another period where I had to work out at 5 in the morning, which I hated, I dreaded it, but sometimes you just got to get things done, and some people love to work out in the morning. I found that, man, that first half of the day was the most productive I had ever been in my life. I didn't need no coffee. I didn't need no caffeine when I had that sick gym session that I hated going in the gym at 5.30 in the morning, taking a shower, changing at the gym. That felt so weird to me. But I would get to work and I would just have this, this energy and this momentum and I would just get tons of stuff done. Now, granted, I would be exhausted by like 8 p.m. ready to pass out. Couldn't even make it to an evening television show because I had to get up so early to do the gym. So that's not my thing. I'm more of a late night person. But even on the nights that I work till one, two, three in the morning, I will get up and do something to get my heart going. And so I think it's valuable to discuss, and I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on things that you do when you find yourself needing to get moving. And what are the real benefits? I know for myself, if I don't go to the gym for a couple days, I start to get a little more anxious than normal, a little more stress. Is the anxiety over the fact that I haven't worked out? Possibly, but it also kind of just gives me a sense of wellness when I get to train, when I get to do my thing. And for me, that's resistance training. It doesn't have to be resistance training for everybody. A lot of the research that I found talked about the benefits of endurance training, specifically on the hippocampus, which is the area of the brain that is responsible for like memory and organization. And so the fact that some people were found to have improved size in their hippocampus later in, in years because they're endurance athletes or it correlated to them being endurance athletes, I think there's some value there. Um, I myself firmly believe that the people that live the longest, fullest lives are constantly doing something, striving for something. And, I, and I've noticed myself paying a real lot of attention to that as I've gotten 40 years old because when I was 20, I thought 40 was old AF. Seriously, I thought, that's it. That's when you retire, right? And to be honest, my dad at 40 was a much different person than I am at 40, okay? Um, we've just changed from generation to generation and I have a three-year-old at 40. My dad had a 16-year-old at 40. Completely different lives and I think a part of our generation um, being associated with training, it's gonna start to show a lot more because there seems to be a bigger gap between those that train and those that don't train, right? There seems to be a like fitness heavy group and there seems to be people that don't do fitness ever. And some of those things are starting to rear their head as far as body composition, weight, and um, maybe cognitive function as we get older. So that's it for today. I just wanted to put this out there. It was more of just a discussion. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. What you do to stay productive at times when you might not have the most activity going on in your life or if you find that you are being a little bit sedentary. I know the standing desk has become quite popular. I haven't yet uh, dove into that realm. I still like to sit when I work, but there may come a time when I want to stand um, and just try that to see if that helps me stay creative and stay on top of things. But for now, I like my little get up, walk around every couple hours, do a little do a little push up, do a little jumping jack, just kind of get the heart rate going. Love to hear what you guys think, but I honestly believe there is great value in being smarter, being more creative, being less anxious in resistance training, in endurance training, and just being active and using our bodies for what they were designed for. All right, guys. Have a great day. Look for a really fun video tomorrow. We're going to get up bright and early, 6 a.m., picking up Lauren, flying to Chicago, meeting with competitors, and then Friday, pre-judging at Junior Nationals. And we'll probably have some Chicago deep dish pizza, right, Chad? Yeah, he's shaking his head. All right, guys, you have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow.